finally we've gotten the update that we've been begging for forever. Print Thin Cut has always been super small and wasteful as it pertains to printing on a full sheet of paper, but now we have the ability to print on five different sizes of paper. We can even print sizes that are included in our live format sublimation printers. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm just gonna add a design to my canvas just for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to go into Cricut Design Space and pick an image. If you are new to DS, just go to images on the left and then you can search a keyword. You can then click on the image and then add to canvas. But this first image is perfect. It would actually make some pretty cool stickers, but that's not what we're using it for. So the first thing I want to do with this image is flatten it because I want it to be a print then cut image. That's the whole purpose of this. So previously we only had a 6.75 by 9.25 inch print then cut and we could only use letter or A4 paper. Now we have five choices of paper and we can print larger images. Here you can see that my image is much larger than any of those paper types. So to get access to the larger print and cut, you're going to go to the hamburger menu and to settings and switch from live to beta. And this tells you that changing your settings may restart the application so save your work first. So just wait for Cricut Design Space to reload. All right, now we got it all back loaded up and you can see over in the corner that I still have the error. But us making that switch to beta did two things for us. It gave us all of these paper sizes, A4, letter, legal, tabloid, and A3. And there is also now an auto resize image. So it resizes the image for you so that it fits within the constraints of your paper. And then on your make it screen, you can see that it all fits now and it almost fits the entire mat. You will have to have a long mat if you're gonna use larger paper. Now, one thing to note is that you have to be exact with your paper size. If you're not exact with your paper size, it does not read the registration marks correctly. I did 11.7 inches by 16.5 inches for this, and I actually printed it on 11 by 17 paper, and the machine could not read the registration marks, and I didn't even realize I did it until I went back and looked at the settings I had in there. This is gonna be a game changer for a lot of us, especially those of us who do sublimation. We'll be able to use the larger paper sizes to do sublimation techniques like printing over glitter or large vinyl stickers or different things like that. So this is a awesome change. So that's the update. I just wanted to do a really quick video that talked about the new Cricut update and I hope this was exciting for you because it really was for me. This is something that we've been waiting for years and years. So if you love this video, go ahead and drop me a comment below and hit the thumbs up button. I know this was a super short video, but I just wanted to get the information out there if you hadn't seen it already. Thanks for watching.